Welcome to a very relaxed, very spooky, very sleepy rendition of The Haunted Haven. I wanted to take tonight and just talk about some Yankee Candle stuff. I went to the Yankee Candle store today with my sister and it was a very fun time. And as I've been winding down for the evening, I have been thinking and pondering and wondering about what on earth to do about this launch party and my overall thoughts in my bed, thinking about Yankee Candle as you do right before you drift off to sleep. But uh, I did get the coupon today for the Halloween party. I will put a better picture of it up once I edit this. But um, yeah, I just wanted to talk about informally, very informally, my questions around what I want to commit to the Yankee Candle experience this year. Bony Bunch Love, who is now uh, Haunts and Hearts, uh, and I'll link her profile below, she got a PR package from Yankee. So that what sparked all this thinking is, yeah, I saw some of that today. There are some things, like the, the Hurricane looks really awesome. The Witch's Brew label, like, yeah, it's a it's an effort. Like, I really, you know, I wish that they would have just stuck with what they were doing a while ago or bring back those really cool 2016 styles. But uh, for what they're doing now, the Witch's Brew is at least cool looking. I am a little bit concerned on this. I'll show you again the picture of this on this coupon. We've got a hand and some roses in the background that look suspiciously like Phantasmagoria. If you guys have watched the channel for the past couple of years, you have known that uh, my enthusiasm for the repeating Phantasmagoria theme is, well, it's not there, first of all, but I'm also just very questioned. I'm questioning why on earth that theme. I guess the moral of the story is that it, it looks suspiciously to me like Phantasmagoria again this year, even though they have not put Phantasmagoria on the actual um, coupons for us, but we'll see. Uh, also, the coupon is only one-sided this year for Halloween. Halloween's only on one side. There's a uh, woodland something or other memories candle on the back of here, so I'm a little bit bummed about that because I do like to collect the coupons just as mementos for the years in which they came out, but they do have a new candle and it's called Enchantress Spell. And this sounds like a Phantasmagoria type candle, if I'm being honest. It says, let black rose, velvet petals, and rich dark fruits enchant you with new Enchantress Spell. So to me, this sounds like it's going to be something of a um, whiny, you know, kind of like dark, dark whiny scent uh, with the dark fruits and velvet petals, etc., etc. Uh, I can't see in this low light super well, but it does look like it's a potion-y type thing. It's got a potion vibe going on. I think the Nightmare of Bunana Toffee came back this year. I don't know why. Don't know if Jack-o'-lantern is coming back. That has not been dis disclosed yet. I really hope so. Um, and then obviously they've got this cool witch's brew with the castle. And um, yeah, so that's kind of all the information that we've got from this thing. I know that I, I recently released this video in which I said I was not going to be kind of following Chasing Halloween hype anymore, but candles are the one thing that I just kind of really, uh, they bring me so much joy and uh, I will allow myself the pleasure of indulging in Yankee Candle hype. Um, so there we have it. I'm, I'm a, a no good Yankee Candle hypist. Oh yeah, I forgot to say another big thing is that there was this sign that said that the launch is 8-3 and 8-4. So I don't know if that means there's literally a launch party both days. That's when the launch is actually going to happen. And then there is going to hopefully be some sort of in-store promotion. So I have here, when you get the coupon, it says $17 original large jar candles. And then that goes from August 3rd to September 2nd. Suppose this is just what you get with the coupon. I really hope that on launch day, they do that deal again, where you get a large candle for $15, because that's great. And if they're doing it for 17, it's like, man, like, I don't know why that makes a difference, but it does. If you're getting a couple candles, that adds up. So I really hope that they do. By the way, anybody who's stuck around this far listening to my rambling about Yankee Candle, late night rambling, by the way, thanks. Uh, I, I appreciate you being here and I'm having, I'm having fun. I'm having a good old grand old time just sitting in my bed ranting about Yankee Candle. And anyway, one more thing that I need to put out to you guys, anybody who's listening, should I 
make it a point to try and get up to Massachusetts for the launch. So I, it's going to take me roughly five hours to get up there with stops. I'd have to kind of drive up uh, Friday evening, maybe stop halfway at a midway point and then finish my trip up on Saturday morning. Or I could leave at like 5 a.m. Saturday morning, just do the straight drive that morning. Uh, but it would just, oof, that's, that would be rough. Anyway, it's going to be a pretty big effort for me to get to the flagship store. So I'm just putting this out there to say, you know, if anybody's like, if, if, if I get enough of a response from people, like, really, please go to the flagship store. We loved your live last year. Like, please, please, please do it. I'll do it. I would probably have fun to do it. I really would need to know. I guess what I'm saying is I would need to know that the diehards are really in for it. And they're like, we really want to see this. Um, otherwise, it might not be worth it for me to kind of make these plans. So, yes, if you're like, please go to the flagship, please film it again. That was super, super fun. I'll do it. Uh, just let me know. Otherwise, I may keep it local and then just make a trip up later. Like maybe, I don't know, just, just I'll find another weekend that's not going to be so hectic for me. If it's going to be Phantasmagoria themed again, I just, yeah, I think everybody knows how, I, how I'm feeling about that at this point. And the loss of the Bony Bunch is a loss. We loved those silly, silly little guys. So it's going to be different without them this year. Just some late night Yankee ramblings. The launch is 8-3. That's a whole month like earlier. It's usually the weekend at the very end of August. So they bumped that baby up. Oh, right. And that's usually the Kringle release as well. So potentially competing, dueling candle releases that weekend. For those of us who are candle enthusiasts, uh, if this indeed is the same release. But even if it's not, I mean, they're going to be close. So there's an alarm going off in the background. My air conditioner kicked on. So this might be a good time for me to stop. All just to say the coupons are out in the store. Go get yourself a Halloween coupon. Snag a couple of these. Take a look. Take a gander for yourself. Let me know about the... Uh, flagship store. Let me know about the launch party at the flagship. Otherwise, I'll just take some video of my local Yankee and we'll call it a day from there. I'm wishing you all a peaceful night, day, afternoon, wherever you are in the journey here. 